actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the subscriber contracts. And today's contract, Five Floors, Five Accidents, set in Dubai. And the contract ID is up on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Paul Anderson 37 so on to our briefing, short and sweet, don't miss an opportunity for an accident. So on to our targets, and today we have five of them. One must be eliminated whilst disguised as the art crew via an electrocution accident. One via event security with an explosion accident. One with a fall accident as event security. And two as a penthouse guard one also in a fall, and one in an electrocution. We also have only the one exit available, and we cannot be recorded. So for today's challenge, we will be starting in the penthouse, and the only items we'll be bringing with us will be a remote taser and our silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, uh, we are going to require ourselves a uh, penthouse guard outfit and there are two guys that we can use for this. Uh, there is one of them, the other one is out on the balcony to our left. Uh, this guy is just moving away from his position which makes him the prime candidate. So we're just going to walk up behind him, render him unconscious we're going to take his gun and then we're going to hide him around by the Sikh's bedroom just outside his window. We're then going to take his outfit. Uh, the gun we're going to use a bit later on as a distraction, but it's not strictly necessary. You can get away without using it. So once we have the guard's outfit on, we can then make our way down to the pantry which is just down the stairs here and around to our left to avoid the enforcer around on our right and then we can go into the pantry and this is our first target and he is the electrocution accident whilst disguised as a penthouse guard so we're going to go into the bathroom we're going to place our uh, taser on the floor here and then overflow the sink that's going to get the attention of our target and when he goes in to investigate we can then trigger the taser so yep you can hear running water it's making you feel like you need to go to the toilet for some strange mystical reason oh dear look there's a puddle on the floor and zap so target number one taken care of uh, from here we now need to take care of another target with this outfit unfortunately she is on the lowest part of the map so we've got quite a journey ahead of us and we need to go all the way from the penthouse right down to the atrium lifts and we need to do this without being spotted by camera so we're going to hug that left wall there and we're just going to make our way all the way down using as much of the staff only areas as possible just to avoid big crowds and a number of enforcers so we're just going to head down past the uh, art installation and then down into the basement area or the staff only area and we're going to go all the way down to the very bottom and we'll be coming back up this way as well as we've just passed one of our targets and we'll be taking care of him on our way back up so once we're all the way through and out into the atrium we need to make our way down to the elevators and just behind the stairwells we will encounter our next target uh, this young lady right here who is what apparently looks like she might be smoking are you smoking no you're admiring the artwork fair enough thought you might have been smoking 
but uh, art appreciation is also illegal in Dubai therefore your punishment is an express lift to the ground floor so that's two targets taken care of as I mentioned earlier we are now going to retrace our steps using the code 4706 we can reaccess the staff only areas we're going to stop off in the kitchen and collect up the propane cylinder just here and we're going to place that propane cylinder just behind our next target who is the uh, explosive kill accident whilst disguised as event security so this is where we're just going to drop the gun on the floor close the maintenance door here now what should happen is that should interrupt the conversation between these two guards unfortunately uh, we've either missed that conversation or they don't have it and the other guard has wandered off which gives us an opportunity so we're just going to quickly render the guard unconscious with the wrench take his outfit and before his colleague returns take two shots at the propane cylinder and that leaves us two more to go and our next target also must be eliminated with the event security outfit they are upstairs and they are a janitor and they are also just by the penthouse area so we're going to retrace our steps back upstairs the same way we came down we're going to grab this crowbar for a melee weapon and once we have this guard here you can see just to our right he will move over to the left and that will give us an opportunity to jump up onto the penthouse floor into the storage room render the janitor unconscious so that he doesn't see us go into the server room and then on the other side of the server room we find a balcony where our target is stood around doing very little so over the balcony you can go and someone on the ground floor can clear you up so that just leaves us with our final target and they are down behind the art installation and we also need a, a tech crew outfit for this final kill so before we exit the storage room we're once again just going to wait for the guard outside to move off as we are trespassing in this outfit but once we're over this balcony we are safe and clear we're going to scoot along the rig in here just because it's the more direct route i don't know if it's actually quicker or not we're going to scoot down the ladder here and make our way to the rear of the art installation and just down here amongst all of these pieces we will find a screwdriver it's not strictly necessary but is useful uh, the young lady you can see moving away has just moved away she is our target so we're just going to render her colleague unconscious quickly and drag him out onto the balcony and out of anyone's eye line and we now have access to our tech crew outfit and we can make our way back inside uh, just be aware that our last target will now be an enforcer so we're just going to wait for her to carry on through her routine and when she heads back down the stairs we can then loosen the wires on the plug socket just in front of us here and then retake up our position around by the ladder and once again await the return of our target and this time when she returns we're going to edge around the corner and we're going to put a bullet into the water cooler that will get her attention and will cause a panic but she is going to run directly through the puddle so there she goes uh, quite shocking unbelievable oh well so before we leave we are going to retrieve our event security outfit just to make our escape that little bit easier and we're going to head now back towards the security office and the elevator behind it which we usually use as an exit and this time we're just going to slide down the elevator shaft to the bottom which will bring us out at the atrium elevators so there we go one more rather complicated subscriber contract taken care of it took a bit of figuring out 
but we got there in the end and we managed to eliminate all of our targets and meet all of our objectives according to plan which gets us our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.